Welcome. This is Andrew Von Eggie from Revolution Wi-Fi, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the use of the Nuts About Nets Airhorn product. Airhorn is an RF signal generator capable of transmitting standard Wi-Fi modulated signals on the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency bands. Today I will be demonstrating the dual band version of this product. Airhorn is useful for RF engineers when researching and de developing wireless antennas. It is also useful for wireless LAN e engineers when designing and installing networks for tasks such as directional antenna alignment, RF coverage assessments, avoiding RF dead spots during site surveys, and network stress testing. I will be running the Airhorn product on a remote desktop in order to ensure 20 feet of separation between the signal generation device and the spectrum capture device running on the local workstation. After installing the Airhorn software suite to the workstation, it is important to modify the Airhorn adapter properties in order to remove all attached protocols from the adapter. This ensures that the operating system does not interfere with operation of the device during transmission. Next, launch the Airhorn product software suite It is common for initialization of the adapter to take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. I will be using time lapse so we do not have to wait. Now that the software has initialized the adapter, we can see the configuration screen. There are three modes of operation for Airhorn. The first is single mode, where it transmits continuously on a single channel, which is configurable. The second is traverse mode, where it hops between each frequency on the associated frequency band that you select. The third mode is called pulse mode, where it pulses the signal for a duration of seconds on the specified channel, interleaving that with periods of silence. For this demonstration, I will be using single mode. I will configure the airhorn adapter to transmit continuously on channel 6 and start the transmission. Once transmission has started, we'll move to the local workstation and view the spectrum analysis capture. Here we can see that the Airhorn adapter is continuously transmitting on Wi-Fi channel 6. Additionally, it is taking up 100% duty cycle of the available airtime on channel 6. Moving to the Devices tab within Cisco Spectrum Expert, we can see that the spectrum analysis software has identified and classified a generic fixed frequency device operating on high power around negative 61 dBm, high duty cycle around 99%, affecting channels 3 through 10. Additionally, when moving to the channel summary tab, we can see that Wi-Fi channel 6 has high utilization and high interference power. There is one interferer that is interfering with channels 3 through 10. Another good use for Airhorn is to combine its use with other performance evaluation tools such as NetStress, IX Chariot, or iPerf to determine the negative impact that co-channel and adjacent channel interference can have on a Wi-Fi network. The product can also function as a denial of service tool to cause severe disruption to a wireless LAN network since it utilizes 100% of the available airtime. Wireless LAN engineers should also note that the tool is not automatically classified by some spectrum analysis tools, such as Cisco's Clean Air access points. This is due to the Clean Air system architecture, which splits RF signal processing between the Wi Fi chipset and the Spectrum chipset, with the focus of the Spectrum chipset on non Wi Fi interference classification. Since the Wi Fi modulation of Airhorn conforms to IEEE 82.11 specifications, the Spectrum chipset in clean air access points does not analyze the data. The Airhorn product is valuable for RF engineers as well as Wi-Fi LAN engineers as a training tool and for network stress and performance testing. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and found it informative. Please visit revolutionwifi.blogspot.com for more information. Thank you.